So I got to school a couple hours before class, as usual, to, to do some reading and stuff. And I had planned on tomorrow going to talk to my professor beforehand. I don't know why I was under the impression that his office hours were only before my class. But then I realized I have some uh, medical appointments tomorrow, and so I'm not going to have any time to do anything before between those and before class. So I looked up the syllabus and verified that he did have office hours today, and he did. But I, it only gave me like 10 or 15 minutes uh, before his office hours ended. So I was like, eh, 15 minutes is better than nothing. So I went up and I talked to him and I sat down and, and asked him how undergraduate research works in a math department and all this stuff and that led to a couple of other questions and it was I guess illuminating a little bit. It, I didn't get all of the answers that I wanted and needed but it was a good starting point. Basically what he told me is math, we, math research works a little differently than most types of STEM fields not surprising because there's not really a lot for, to do. It's, it's kind of like a one-man job in a, in a sense for the most part. He said that there are some professors. Now again, this is all at USF. I'm going to assume that it extrapolates to most, you know, major state four-year universities, but obviously you're going to have to verify your, for yourself, but this may give you some good places to start. So he told me that finding research as an undergraduate is a little difficult because one, math is fundamental, and most of this, not fundamental, but foundational, and that you need to learn a bunch of stuff before you get to the really high stuff, of course, we all know this. And most of the things that professors and PhDs are working on is oftentimes head and shoulders above what undergraduates are learning, so they don't know anything about it. And it's not super reasonable to expect an undergraduate to be able to walk into some PhD or professor's office and be able to contribute to their research in any meaningful way just because they don't know the material and they're not going to you're not going to learn all of some you're not going to learn sub Ramanian geometry from YouTube it's just not going to happen you need to take a class on it or have I mean, you gotta learn it from somewhere at some point. So, he did say that, again, at least at USF, there's um, kind of like a research symposium or colloquium for undergrads that involves giving talks and also just presenting posters. But that's for all kinds of undergraduate research. Uh, so basically, what it more or less boiled down to is the fact that I apparently have to find, figure out what I want to do research in, find out if anyone else is an expert or knows a good bit about that field and also see if that person is doing research in that field. It's a little frustrating because because I've yet to determine what I want to do research in. There's so much stuff, dozens and dozens and dozens of topics and subtopics and all this other stuff and a lot of it sounds really interesting to me. I have no idea what direction to go in. I have maybe a handful right now, you know, a half dozen you know, four or five, but I gotta, I gotta figure out if that aligns with someone else's in interest. And if it does, then I have to figure out if they're doing research. And if they're doing research, that's great, but is there any place for an undergraduate in their research? A lot of times that's no. Sometimes professors and PhDs will create work and projects explicitly for undergraduates so that undergraduates can get a taste for research while they're still undergraduates so they don't have to wait till they're graduate or PhD students. I've picked out a couple professors that are doing research and I guess what I'm ultimately going to have to do is email them one by one, say hey I'm interested in doing research um, and you know these, these couple of topics I'm willing to self-learn a good deal of it and are you doing any any research in this field that I can help with? He said, and and I had the gut feeling going in to all of this is that it's it's going to be very hard to come by. Um, you basically more or less have to take what you can get because you know you have all these restrictions on what undergrads can do and you know the the things they're just not going to know and all of the other stuff, which I knew. And I, you know, I told him I wanted to do this partially because I want to do research and it's math's interesting to me. It's, I mean, it's my major. And also I wanted to make myself more competitive for grad school. And he said, well, it will make you competitive for grad school, especially if you can get letters of rec out of it. And again, that's what I figured. But what I really should have asked him, and I don't know why I didn't, is I should have asked him whether or not undergrad research is going to be a make or break when getting into 
grad school. But as of right now, my line of thinking is this. If no one talks about undergrad research, no one promotes it, no one does it, no undergrads are talking about it, no professors are talking about it, that gives me kind of a strong indication that it's not really there. That it doesn't exist more or less, that it's not important per se, and that it's just not taking place in general. I could be wrong, I would like to be wrong because I want to do research and I want to be able to, you know, have not, I mean one-on-one -on -one is too much to ask, but I would love to be in a small group with a professor and a bunch of PhDs because I feel like that's when I learn best is when I'm surrounded by people smarter than me. I, I prefer to be the dumbest person of the room. It's a lot better that way and it's a lot more interesting. So I'm going to have to do that. He did say that he's doing some research. Um, he does a lot of crystallography and um, a lot of the group theory that applies to that. And he said he was thinking about doing some stuff that would have some, have some places for undergrads. And I was like, sign me up right now. I don't care what it is. I'll, you know, I'll happily be a part of your research. He doesn't seem like the kind of person who easily puts names to faces, and the semester is just getting started, so I'll probably have to drop that hint again, or jump on it if he mentions it in class or something like that, or even just email him in like a, a month or two, because I mean, I have a little over a year, so I, I got a little time to work with, but I don't know, it looks less than promising right now, but I'm gonna dig a little further, talk to a couple more people. I might go so far as to talk to the Office of Undergraduate Research, even though they really do a whole other different kind of research, not really math that I know of. You don't know unless you ask, so. That's what I got so far. It's, you know, it's not great, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, good, it's a good push in the right direction. So, hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.